Joining me now is Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman. How are you? Welcome to New I'm York. I'm doing great. Good, Good to, to see you. you. Well, I, is you at one point saw what the S&P said, downgrading and, and saying there's a better than 33 percent chance yeah. that America is not going to be able to deal with its debt properly. You saw the White House's reaction. They went on the attack against the S&P. <laughs> well, saw. which I thought was pretty interesting, <laughs> but. Um, we're now about to have a debate over the debt ceiling. You were at odds pretty much with the leadership over the 2011 budget. Do you have confidence that they're going to fight hard and hold out for, for major concessions in this battle over the debt ceiling? Well, of course, that's our hope, that they do that. And that's what the expectation is of the people. Again, I think at least two-thirds of the American people are just saying, no, don't raise the debt ceiling at all. And I think that what we have to take off the table is the fact that we are not going to see the full faith and credit of the United States harmed in any way. We, I think we should pass uh, Tom McClintock's bill from California that says we're going to pay all of our bills first, we're going to pay our interest first before anything else. And what it means, Sean, is... We pay our, bi our bills, and then the money left over, we prioritize our spending. Do you, do, do you think, is there a consensus within the Republican caucus, the leadership? Are they giving you any indication that, hey, this is a fight worth having? Um, Barack Obama didn't vote to raise the debt ceiling as a senator in 2006, and he said we've got to be more responsible for our kids and our grandkids. Actually, one of the few times I agreed with Obama. He was senator then. But is that, a, is that your position, or do you think you're going to find yourself at odds again with the Republican Party? It's possible I might be at odds with the Republican Party again. I, I know very clearly what people are telling me in my district in Minnesota and from around the country. They're saying we're tired of having, giving the government more authority to borrow money. Forty-one cents of every dollar we spend is borrowed. I couldn't live like that for two months in my own finances. The government can't. What deal would government. it take for you to support raising the debt ceiling? The only way that I could do that is if we'd see a defunding of Obamacare, complete defunding. And, of course, I'd like to see spending caps as well. We just, we can't do what we're doing, and Standard and Poor's told us that. That's the canary in the mine. Yeah. And so now we know that we're in trouble if we don't change course. All right, so it, it, would a balanced budget amendment, defunding Obamacare, caps on spending, those would be things that if they pass that, then you would agree to... Fight. I would give it very strong consideration. What I've said so far is... Raising the debt ceiling alone, I can't do it. I cannot do it. I think what we need to do is be very honest and, again, let people know what it means if we don't raise the debt ceiling. We have to take that issue off the table about maintaining the full faith and credit of the American people, but then we have to show them what the spending choices would be, too.